<laughs> Get them okay. eggs look crispy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're good to go. Eggs popping, boy. Your Wi-Fi stinks, Andre. Just so you know that. So this is awful. All right. We don't uh, really expect him to add anything intellectual to the conversation. All right, let's start part. it up, Dante. Uh, we're gonna play the intro for a little bit. And we'll bring you in, Sam. Okay. You think you know about relationships, but you're wrong. And there's no magic bullet. I'm teaching life skills. See, you need medicine. It don't always taste good. Nah, but it gets you better. You need this medicine. Yeah. It ain't gonna always taste good. But this is what you need. Men and women, bottom line, we need to have the conversation. Your partner wants to give up control, but only if you know how to drive. This is about being the best you you could ever be, whoever you are. I don't care if you're a man, a woman, LGBTQ, space alien. I'll save anybody. I don't care. I'll teach a hedgehog how to have a threesome. What do you mean by that? Look, you don't have to listen to me, but you're wrong. Listen, I know I'm great. And I know you're thinking, Dante, there's no way I can be like you. But you could be me, you know why? Because you know who I was before I was me? I was you. you. Man school, 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't. Rah! What's up, GYBB? Get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted, and I am excited. Harry, what's going on, baby? How you uh, feeling? In good. The, the lockdown corona. Um, Dre is here with a do-rag on. I can't see the top of his head. He looks like Hannibal cut the top of his head off. That's all right. Uh, we got a special <laughs> guest Yo. in the building. I'm glad. Got the I'm, camo, I'm, dude. I'm so... <laughs> Andre has... Uh due to a mix-up, decided to do the entire show as an Instagram character <laughs> and uh, also have the world's worst Wi-Fi while he's cooking on the stove uh, at yeah, the same time. So some old brown-ass eggs. And I don't mean brown <laughs> eggs like regular brown. Just he, he got them crispy like toasted eggs. Whatever the fuck. Um, special guest in the... Not in the studio, but... Uh, from his home studio. From the home studio. The Corona. Good friend of mine. Uh... Uh, good, good, good friend of mine. Uh, we kind of came up together indirectly or directly on Sirius Radio, and he in turn got his own thing with Jim, Jim Norton and Sam. Uh, show is amazing, dude. I watched this dude grow up in the business and fucking right. is just so the good. The last, good. the last professional broadcaster, WWE uh, announcer, commentator, uh, contributor. His own show, Not Sam. Now who looks like a maniac with a home studio? Not Sam. Not That's Sam. Sam sure. He's repaired. <laughs> Sam Roberts, everybody. Give what an intro. Roberts, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, there was uh, my my buddies are like, you know, I feel like whether you're doing it subconsciously or indirectly, you are somehow preparing for this time that we're all more. in when everybody was like why are you you have you work at Sirius they have a studio that you go to why are you building a studio in your house why are you doing this and it's right. like well because I'm a broadcaster I should have a studio in my house absolutely and guess what happened literally the day they were like look I think you're gonna need to broadcast from home I said no problem we got audio we got, we got video we got a studio we're good to go we're good to go and and us, uh, and I'm, you know, I'm one of the guys that had a studio. Me and dumb Bob Kelly, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and uh, and always kind of. I just wanted to come. You know, it's nice to come downstairs uh, after you eat some toasted eggs and, uh, and just <laughs> turn your light. Dre, what's wrong with your internet? You suck. Oh my god. He, well, it's god our again. fault. <laughs> we moved the time, and neither of us bothered to tell Andre. Apparently, <laughs> is what happened. I'm, so I'm I. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I know. That's, <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> and it just blacked out. It's just black screen. This is like, remember, like the first Gulf War before they had that technology to yeah. interview people, yeah. and they it was just disastrous interviews. That's what this show is going to be. Good morning, <laughs> Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs>
Andre Yo. can't even fire back. <laughs> Sam, Sam, it's so good to see you, brother, man. Thank you so much, man. I, I appreciate you doing this. Um, go ahead, say. Yeah. Talk. Uh, yeah, thanks for... <laughs> this is not... Dre. This is not how we do this. Hold what on, are I gotta... you doing, Dre? I'm putting... I'm get, all right, I'm going to the room. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to mute you until you get to the room. I can't yeah, believe room. I've had to do this. This is tremendously unprofessional as we sit here with the last but real isn't professional. isn't that the fun of it? Isn't that the... And, and take my government name off, off the video. Please. <laughs> <Your government name. laughs> I know yeah. I, I know I shouldn't act like I'm still thugging, but because uh, I got a screen door in a backyard now. And an HMO. You can't really be a thug if you got an HMO. So it, it is what it is. There we go. Andre will rejoin us. This is not he usually will. how we do the show. And um, and if not, whatever. Doesn't yeah. really matter. So I hey Sam, Andre came home from the store with the sniffles and and his mom uh quarantined him and his girlfriend in the basement. He's been down there since since he sniffled. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's been like three or four weeks. They're like, I, I mean, it would have gone away by now, even if it was real. <laughs> He's out of his mind. Sam, it's so good to see you, bro. So good yeah. to see you. Yeah, man. Amazing good to home, see you. Amazing home studio. Fantastic. It looks great. The lighting is great. Just just complimenting that aspect that we appreciate, man. You really put a lot into that. Let me just uh, give a little uh, a little background. Because I have a studio, too. That's all liquor, Stam. All that is is liquor and some Clorox wipes. I mean, that's that's the most impressive part right now, that you actually have some of the rare Clorox wipes. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, I did. I was early. I, I was doing what I would do is I would um I would basically put uh I, I, I put my subscription for Clorox wipes and uh, Magnum condoms, Clorox wipes, toilet paper and uh, paper towels, all the things that we need. Yeah. Wow. And, yeah. And so I have I have if you need paper towels, I can ship you some. I got cases of it here because <laughs> I didn't know how to go into Amazon and and uh, and, and cancel the subscription. So it just keeps coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's what they're counting on. Like, you know, that, that people will figure out how to set it up, yeah. but nobody's going to go to the trouble of figuring out how to cancel it. So it just that's stacked me. up. And then the world, and then I got nothing but uh, paper towels and toilet paper. So whatever, <laughs> it is what it is. Good to see, you, brother. Man, congratulations on the new baby. Um, yeah, thank you. Yeah, this uh, people are, are are I guess getting bored during quarantine. <laughs> but I I've not had one day of boredom. I haven't had one minute where I've been like, man, I've got nothing to do because. Right. Like, you know, I'm still luckily I'm on we're still doing the show on Sirius. Right. So we're doing that every morning and then I'm doing everything else that I normally do. But at the same time, the minute I leave the studio and go upstairs, there's a toddler and a baby. Right, right, right. Demanding right, right. attention. So you're not learning any new languages or how to play guitar. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. No, nothing. Nothing new has been. If anything, I'm, I'm, for I'm some people. I'm figuring I'll get there. Like I'll still be like, no, I uh, think like like I'm gonna I'm gonna start a a, a hobby or, or I'm gonna learn a skill or something like that. And then I realize we're six weeks in, bro. This is it. Like this, this is, is it. what we're doing. Well, there's yeah. a lot of people I feel like are not only are they might be more stressed because now they're home and the kids are around. Like some people, work was like that refuge. Right. <laughs> that was that little barrier away from the family. <laughs> yeah, give me give me eight hours out of this freaking house. So yeah. and now they're just stuck there. It's crazy because I've been doing the consultations. I've been getting consultations like crazy because everybody's stuck with their awful bitch and they can't. <laughs> and they're like, what do I do? What are you, do you, are you still are you still doing consultations in the coronavirus? Dre, what the fuck are you doing? And it's I'm getting together. Everybody have to see me. By the way, you've you've never had it together. By the way, if anyone wants to check this out, I am uploading all these episodes on our YouTube page, Man School Two Hundred Two. So go there, subscribe. You'll see all the shows are now. We're putting up all the videos. So if you want to see how ridiculous what character Andre had to do for whatever audition he's doing, any the, any for, any new new listeners, I have to understand that uh, Sam has supported the show from the very beginning. He's had us on. He's promoted us. Um, and Sam was around when me and Patrice were shooting the Black Phillips show. The yeah. first iteration, alliteration, iteration. What, iteration. First iteration. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I, don't, I don't have Google. So, <laughs> so it's, it's Sam was there from the beginning as an intern. Yeah. Uh, he interned. 
And which is interesting. How do you think our intern is, Sam? I mean, what do you think about our intern? <laughs> Andre. Well, Shout out to the interns, yo. I, I appreciate that he's gotten it together and he's telling you, look, all right, I will accept your criticism. I'm not he's not sitting there and going, OK, next episode, I'll be better. It's a work in progress as we work go. In progress. And he's Going like, right now. And, and you said, what are you doing? And he said, I'm getting it together, man. <laughs> And he's way more together now than he was even like 10 minutes ago. And, so, and that's, that's my that's, guy. I love that's fans. Growth. That's growth. <laughs> I'm a fan. Again, if you if you oh, want to oh see Andre's shenanigans here, check out our YouTube page that we're, we're really uploading some new stuff there. So you eating another cheese it. grill? You just been eating cheese. You must be back the fuck up. All the cheese put, grill you eat. Look, I put like a fucking God, wow. in, and then I put bacon in it with cheese and eggs and shit with jalapenos. Niggas is doing good. <laughs> You know, I thought I, I thought once Andre did the Tonight Show, he would be too good for us. And nah, now I feel not. like we might have to lose him. He's not. Is, he's not. Huge. Andre lost his mind. Hey, Sam, <laughs> Sam, is, Sam, Sam has a soft place for interns for all the fucking horrific thing they did to him. They just just I mean, Sam, a young kid with a huge afro, no beard. Right. And just <laughs> dealing with Patrice and o, o and A and all the, and just like he just he's just got to But you suck, Dre. Just for the record. I don't care how much I don't care how much soft spot you stink. You're horrible. Oh, Come from a good place, though. It, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, so did so did crack. They just won that. It was a party drug. Yeah. Just a party drug at first. Uh, Sam, so good to see you, man. It's good, so it's good to hear from you. I take, I text Sam, and Sam was like, "Yeah, let's fucking do it." So he's always so awesome. Well, that's uh, the other that. thing about that's the other thing about having a home studio. You're like, you want to do it tomorrow? I'm like, yeah. You're yeah. Like, one o'clock sounds good. How about two o'clock? Okay, I'll, <laughs> I'll walk downstairs at two o'clock then. <laughs> I, I feel know, like I don't know I don't if you had I can this. cut the lights on at two. Right? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you guys uh, have had this problem at all at uh, at Sirius XM. A couple people, you're like, oh, I can't do it. But what about next week? You're like, next week? What the fuck are you talking about? What are you <laughs> what doing? Are you doing? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, what's the difference? There's yeah. a couple people you'd be surprised. They're like, ah, I don't, I don't know if I, I'm free that day. You're like, what do you, what do you, what's going on? Yeah, that's like that's that's when you know it's like okay, this person is a douchebag. When it's like, <laughs> if, what, if, if they're like, I can't do today or I can't do this afternoon, you're like, okay, maybe. But yeah, when they're going like, uh, how's next week look for you? You're going. What? You don't like it. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. all that is. That's you don't want to do this, do you? You don't. You, you don't, don't like talk it. anymore. <laughs> Just tell me that. <laughs> So how Sam, is I got, go ahead, family I'm life? Sorry. How's family life now, Sam? Now, last time we talked to you, you had the one baby. I think it was just you had just had the one. Now you got two. That sounds about right. Yeah. yeah. How has family life been for you, man? I mean, it's a lot, but it's great. Like, here's the thing. I am in a good position. Like, and I've actually had conversations with my wife because my wife is a little more uh, panicked about everything that's going on and being, oh, do you think it's going to get back to normal? And this is so upsetting. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, look, Jess. We live in a place that we like where we live, right? That's yeah. number one. Already we're ahead of the game. Number two, yeah. we like each other. We like mm -hmm. our kids. Right. The people that we're stuck with, we actually like. Most right. people, not even some, yeah. most people are figuring <laughs> out now that the people that they're stuck with, they don't like those people. Yeah. Right, right. And I'm like, yeah. well, I feel so far ahead of the game because I'm like, no, I like my wife still. I like our kids. He you know what I mean? Still. 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 <laughs> it's yeah, been a long still. time. It's been a long time. And I feel like that's an accomplishment. It is. It is. When you actually like, even when, you know, I was kind of sitting there going like, okay, if I'm going to be working from home, Jess is really going to see the amount of work that I'm not doing. Like when I'm disappearing <laughs> From the yeah, house. But, yeah, but you could just tell her that everything shut down so much. It's so different now <laughs> yeah. because of the coronavirus. <laughs> yeah, like like I can't just go down to the basement and go like I got to go to work because now that I'm working from home, she's like, well, what are you what are you doing? And I'm like, well, I wait working like we, i gotta we, do some research research. Yeah, yeah. When in doubt, <laughs> brainstorming is always a, a good one. I'm yeah, brainstorming. The, the creative process is yeah. happening downstairs. I don't know what to tell you like. But how, how awesome good. that you talk for a living It's fucking amazing. It's, it's fucking amazing. amazing. Um, it's amazing. I got I got married, Sam, and I got a baby. 
Whoa, I didn't oh, know you got oh, married yeah. and had a baby. So you're you're what are do you like that? I mean, you you I love kinda, it. Yeah, I love it, dude. I mean, I, I um, you know, I here's the thing. How old are you now, Sam? I'm 36. OK, so I this is my first baby. I mean, I had a stepdaughter early, mm -hmm. you know, when I'm in my, in my 30s, when I was hanging out at, at the studio and stuff. But, um, you know, I'm 53 and it just and, and you'll probably realize this at even when it comes to your situation. It's just when you're older, you just don't make the dumb mistakes yeah. um, that you would normally make. Shout out to Andre. Um, <laughs> I ain't made no mistakes, son. Yeah, you, don't, you just know that they're mistakes. <laughs> you just That's don't know. Made. You gotta get me calm. Yeah. <laughs> so, Andre's kind of from the like, he, God makes no mistakes. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is, you know I mean? if, if it happened, it was supposed to happen. This is yeah. what was Go supposed to happen. What's a mistake? Yeah. Even that murder. <laughs> I mean, I didn't. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's uh you know that's we love him though we love him to death just he's out of his fucking mind too but yeah it's just it's fun because i just don't make i don't make those mistakes anymore i don't I, I just don't you know you could just see the mistakes going even yeah even even when my wife is all frantic like my wife uh dropped the she didn't drop the baby but the baby the baby was <laughs> in the bed and the baby <laughs> rolled off but you know she's she's one of those women that just everything is so perfect, like fresh cut flowers on the on the on the dresser. Right. Um, she opens the, the the shades, lets the sun in. I'm like, <laughs> like <"What's this?" laughs> and uh, and so she has so naturally. You can't be that kind of woman. And you're in San Francisco, Andre. Is that what you're doing? <laughs> he's, you he's at the Golden idiot. Gate Bridge. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> so he, so so the baby, the 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 um the pillows. She naturally, you can't have a woman that's that together and meticulous about a home life, and she not have a thousand pillows. Like that's prerequisite. So there was so many pillows, right? He just kind of rolled off the bed onto a pillow, onto another pillow, on, and he just kind of was. He was just like laying on a pillow when she uh -huh. came in the room panicked like crazy cry i'm such a horrible mother I don't know. Oh, i'm shit. like what are you what are you talking he's he's giggling right like, he doesn't give a fuck i'm like it's the isn't that weird isn't that weird that like because i'd be the same way as you right like i wouldn't be sitting there i'm like the only reaction is like oh man thank god for that pillow huh let's keep it moving <laughs> <laughs> like like you know i would have been a horrible parent had it not been for that pillow. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But the yeah. pillow was there. So let's thank God for the pillow and, <laughs> and let's keep, keep it, it moving. Yeah. yeah. And keep it moving. What are we gonna do? Two she was upset for two days. Wow. Two days. I'm a horrible mom. I go, this is her, you know, it's her first baby too. So it's like, you know, and and the kid is uh kid is pretty just a ple right had the kid is a pleasant the kid is a Adorable. And he's just, just no, he doesn't. He, if he's if he's constipated, he cries. If he's hungry, he cries. Mm -hmm. And he don't even cry. Just kind of like, eh, and then you know. And she's so on. In it. all fairness, I do the same thing for both. <laughs> <laughs> I've been known. <laughs> but she she's so on it. I uh, Sam, I I I was I used to keep track of how many diapers I changed because she's so on him. Uh -huh. Um, I might have I might have changed. Uh, the last count was eight diapers. My 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 son is uh just coming up on eight months. Wow! And I've changed eight diapers. And it's not because you're not doing anything. It's because I she's would, doing everything. I I wouldn't mind. I you want me? No, nope, she's just on it. You know. Yeah. Um, she's just you know, it's funny it. now that now that we have two. I found like it's just become this natural separation, and the three year old's a boy. And he looks exactly like me. Uh -huh. And you know, the the uh eleven month old, she's eleven months like two days ago, is a girl. And my wife just does everything for the baby. Uh, and then why do you have a dog on your, on your <laughs> there's a dog <laughs> with a person's face behind. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just found Zoom backgrounds. <laughs> Andre, is there a gas leak in that basement? I'm starting to worry that this is, I've never seen Andre like this as a human being. Certainly not with the do-rag. <laughs> the do-rag does take everything, the level of concern. I've been putting all kind of essential oils in my shit. Plus the do-rag looks, the do-rag looks tight. It looks yeah. real tight. It's cutting well, in. 
He's gonna come out. Of, he's going to come out of Corona with waves. That's the one. There we go. <laughs> he's coming out of Corona with waves. That's it. <laughs> Hell yeah! But sorry, Sam, you were telling us. Uh, right. The, 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 so so like I have not done. I'm probably with you. I might have changed less than eight diapers in the really? eleven months with the new baby. But like I put the three year old to bed right. every night. Like I'm doing more for him now than I was before. But way less for the new baby right than right, I did right. for our first Has the because... dynamic change with how you treat the first uh the first child now that there's a second one there i feel like the dynamic the dynamic that changes is the dynamic of how we treated the first baby as opposed to how we're treating the second baby like that that energy of oh my God, I'm a terrible mother because the baby yeah. fell off the bed and I'm going to be upset for two days. Like that might, that might have existed in our household with the first one. Right, right. But with the, se with the second like baby. This is like the commercial. Yeah. That pamphlet, that like, there's like a commercial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The woman's holding the kid and she's like, whatever. He okay. bites, bye. <laughs> Yeah, and then yeah. she grabs walks a handful of Cheerios. Door. She grabs a handful of Cheerios and then walks out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like we're yeah. way, like we literally, the other day, we were like running around the house. We were doing whatever. Like we were not ignoring the kids, but we were just so in right, everything. Right. Like right, maybe right. Jess was making dinner. I was making sure that the three-year-old didn't run into the wall or something. Uh. And we just turn around and the baby literally is holding a desitin bottle and her mouth is just full of it. She's just <laughs> devouring diaper cream. And we're like, oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> we got poison control on the phone, the whole thing. And like, and it's really like poison control when... When something like that happens and they think that logic should dictate, they right, will right. really talk down to you. Really? What did they say? Like they really they were like, Well, <laughs> it's it's made for babies. <laughs> they wouldn't make it toxic. You know right. what's nice? If, <laughs> it's even better if they if they do this, they ask you questions. You do know that uh Destin is made for babies. Yeah, 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 we know that. Um is this a human baby that you're <laughs> calling about? Yeah, like we're we're sitting there like worried, like, oh my god, they're gonna call child services. Somebody's gonna come into our house and they're like, Really, you called us? Because your baby's eating diaper cream. That's why you called poison control today. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, she, yeah, she, she's so. But I don't, I don't know if she's ever gonna not be like that. You know, I don't, yeah, I don't. I she's don't, definitely she, a great mom, no doubt about uh, she's, it. Man. Um, like, I, like, I'm actually jealous of my kids because I'm like, you know, this little, this little motherfucker's getting a lot that I never got. You know, what I mean? <laughs> a lot of attention going into. <laughs> he's got more Jordans than me. That's he's true. Doing, yeah, he's got joy. He's got velvet. I, we, she just bought him red velvet Jordans. Uh, Michael Jordan I'm just dressing him like Diddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did have a velour tracksuit. <laughs> like, he's just dressing him like he's gonna hide a bad boy right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just big puffy coats. He's oh, like, take that, take, take that. that, take that, take that. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to get a picture. I'm gonna put a picture up in a minute, but it's fun. It, it's, it's oh, you have to. My yeah, wife, yeah. my wife won't let me take our our boy shoe shopping, cause she'll what? just go like, I think he needs new sneakers. Like, like, and it'll be, it won't even be. He will like, he had an accident, right? So there's pee yeah, on his yeah. sneakers. We have to wash the sneakers, but we have to go out right now. Will you pick up sneakers so we can have them today? And she thinks that I'm gonna go to like the kids shoe store and just buy him some cheap sneakers. Right, right. And like he comes back and I've blown seventy five dollars. On like some fives. Why? I mean, why would you not? Why would you not? I just, I'm I like, just... of course, <laughs> of course. Like, I'm gonna go. Like, I literally, like, I, 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 I was. I think I was like Christmas shopping for her. It wasn't even. And I was right. like, okay. And I, I bought, a, I bought the boy uh, some sneakers. They didn't have them in his size. They're two sizes too big, but he'll grow into them. But I, they had one pair of Brett Elevens left. But, and I was like, he's gotta have Fred Elevens. <laughs> uh, it's so crazy, Sam. Because uh, all Dre, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> There's two big fans. You know, this, you know, this is an audio podcast, right, Dre? <laughs> the, the primary purpose. I mean, I'm uploading film. the video on YouTube, and again, I I guess this is a good time as any to once again promote. Please <laughs> check out the YouTube. <laughs> the man school 202 YouTube and see that Andre apparently took some mushrooms or what, what have you. <laughs> <laughs> because now he has his head in between two, uh, two women's asses. And then 
he's such he's such an intelligent dude. Um, <laughs> the, uh, Trey, what is wrong with you? He's doing a video. Um, yeah, I I bought eleven. I just bought him because I I'm a, I'm an elevens dude. I yeah. love the 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 elevens, all elevens. So we got them red elevens and black elevens. And the, <laughs> the, we got the cap and gowns and yeah. And, Y'all gotta and, look uh, at the Don C joints. Snakeskin. You would love that. Yeah. He had those already. Snakeskin elevens. Yeah, the blue and white. The blue and white. The six rings. No, it's all it's like a cream snakeskin eleven wrap. The whole like wavy part is those. all <laughs> fucking high time. Not, they, I look, I'm I'm not gonna lie, I will spend 80 bucks on a pair of sneakers, but he, how long did they wear them? He had he had his uh, You should so so I, I was like looking at my wife like she doesn't know what she's doing. He came back because you know he's three, he likes to ride a scooter, he likes to right, do right, all right. this stuff. And I he came back and his fives that I had got him were all scuffed up in the front. And I'm yeah. like, Jess, what the hell happened? <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, well, you know, when he's scooting, he breaks with his toe. So he's scraping his toe on the ground. I'm like, you don't let him go scootering in his finest <laughs> Jordans. He needs different sneakers when he's when he, if he's going to be breaking with his sneakers. He can't be he can't scuff these up. Like, are you crazy? <laughs> Uh, oh no! Yeah, it is. It's it's crazy, and, and it's just it's it's good you're bringing them up the right way. I'm trying you know what to. I mean? <laughs> the right bringing way. Them up the you're right way. Up the right way. I'm trying to. He shouldn't know that he shouldn't be scootering with his fives. Like let's be. Let's That's be crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, can't, you, you can't. You can't. You can't perform athletic activities wearing Jordans. <laughs> like that's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, Sam probably got the little plastic inserts so that they don't crease. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You gotta keep the like the, the toe box. Yeah, like, yeah, the little toe box. Because look, he, look, if he falls, he falls. But don't crease those fives. Come on, <laughs> right, <now. laughs> right. Teach him how to walk flat-footed so he's not bending his toes while he's going. <laughs> I don't know. It, it's it's a it's a really good feeling, man. It's a, it's a really really good feeling. Um, and uh, just and I, I'm getting so much. And like I'm I'm not kidding. I've been getting so many consultations because you know people have in and you know when you can get out the house, you 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 can settle for somebody that you don't want to be with and still um, <laughs> you know, and still get a break. You know, yeah, you, you have some breathing room. Yeah, and yeah. It's, this is this is this lets you know whether you really like your chick or not. No, yeah. I read an article that Yo, I like, like you. even <laughs> I can do his back right now. there. Well, he's actually <laughs> his, it, well. There's still there's still uh, quarantine. Like uh, Andre got an old Jamaican mother, and they can't leave the house. They can't leave the house. He's it was she. This was a quarantine for fourteen days. Uh, he's quarantined for 14 months. His girl hasn't been out of his house. <laughs> I was, something, you know, Andre, you know, I can't have you over there making everybody sit your grandma at 93. So, <laughs> I was reading, they said, uh, even like early on in quarantine, there was some, uh, like there were divorce attorneys that yeah. said oh, the yeah. calls that were coming in were going through the roof, but it was for two reasons. One was because people were figuring out they couldn't stand each other right. really quick, like a week of being together. And they were like, oh, yeah. my God, this is a different deal. The other thing they said was that because the stock market was crashing, okay. that all these rich dudes were like, look, I'm not going to last through quarantine, but I'm not going to wait until the stock market goes back up to get this divorce going. Right, if you're right. going to get half. I'm going to give you half when While my net losing. worth is <laughs> as <laughs> low as possible. And oh, I, was like, I was like, that's evil, but that's, that's genius. It's genius, genius. dirtbag shit. Yeah. Well, you dirt know, like, I'm still, I'm still essential. I'm a still essential work because I still got the phone company. I mean, I was trying to retire last year. And then when the baby, I had the baby, I got to do another, you know, I got to, you know, and I'm not going to throw away this 26 years. So yeah. I'm, I got to do the 30 to, to, to get the pension and everything and the medical. And I'm like, you know, I'm lucky because I got full medical and, and everything. Um, but the, the being in set, I'm still going out, you know, I'm still, I got to go to work every morning and, and, mm -hmm. and everything. But, but I like, I like coming home. You know what I mean? I like coming home. I, we like each other. We enjoy each other's company. And I don't always understand why people, have, I do understand. I shouldn't say that. But people get with people because they feel like their validity, their value is so low that they're just willing to settle. Right. Because they don't know if they're going to have another opportunity. So, like, I think, too, and I was going to ask you mm. if you like being accountable, because I think when you have 
I mean, more so than ever, when you have kids, you're accountable because whether those kids are saying everything, especially like once they start getting old enough and you realize that they're taking everything in, now you're literally accountable for every minute that you're around them. But like, I look at it the way I don't, I never work out unless I have a trainer. I need to be accountable to that trainer. I never, I mean, I'm just better when there's somebody there who I actually like and who I trust and who's good at what they're doing that I'm accountable to. And I think that that's part of the reason why guys are afraid of being in relationships or don't want to get married or whatever it is, because all of a sudden you're you're going to be accountable to that person. Like they're going to know if you stayed up all night doing nothing and then slept all day for no reason other than you were doing nothing, that person that's in your house, you're going to have to answer for that behavior. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I agree. Or even if they just see you, even if they don't give you shit about it. Right, Even if they're exactly. just watching you, you're like, oh, shit, somebody's <laughs> watching. I got to look like I'm doing something. <laughs> right, right. They're going to they're gonna sit yeah. there and say, hey, what time did you go to bed? And not even in an accusatory way, not just as a, I was curious. I went to bed earlier. I noticed you didn't go to bed. Just yeah. making conversation. What time did you go to bed? And now you have to tell a person. And it's like four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I, I subscribe to the old Seinfeld rule of carrying a clipboard just so it looks like I'm doing something important <laughs> in the relationship, even if I'm not. And then I just pretend I'm angry at somebody like, ah, son of a bitch. Like a foreman? <laughs> yeah. I wear a hard hat sometimes, too, just, just when I'm going through the kitchen to the living room. Yeah, I run back and forth to multiple computer screens. And just yeah. like, just so it looks like, screen. geez, you got you to gotta go, God damn it, a couple of times. <laughs> Jesus, yeah, you gotta grab your head and then yeah. you pull a wire out, pull it back in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a tech thing. I mean, look, sometimes the beauty of having a studio at home and the ability to stream is that sometimes I just be like, look, I'll just look, I, I gotta go. I'm gonna go do a YouTube show. Right, right, and right. It's like you never would have done that, but you're like, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go to work. I'll just do a YouTube <laughs> show. I'll figure something out. <laughs> <laughs> Trey, what are you doing? What the fuck? Are what you is doing? that background what? now? Who is that background you have? That that's uh, Lisa Ray, and who is? Oh, that's the chick from Django, ain't it? That, no, that's is not, that Kerry that? Washington? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then just Kerry Washington looking upset and confused. Are, Why are do you, you have that? Why are you, do you have a Kerry Washington fan? <laughs> no. <laughs> he's like, no, I'm not. <laughs> no, he's not. He's not. But this why is like, you, a you know what this is like? You ever see that video footage of Little Wayne's deposition? Where they're trying to get answers from him. It's the best. I don't remember that. I don't remember that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember that. No, I don't remember that. I don't, remember I don't that recall. <laughs> I don't recall. You're asking me, should I feel? Yeah. Should I feel? That's the question. <laughs> it's funny. Well, I got, position is legendary. I yeah. did a, I did a, I did a, I, you know, because I'm doing a lot of consultations. And so now my studio is kind of like my inner sanctum. I mm-hmm. do the consultations down here. And uh, I had a guy, he calls me up, he calls me up the other day. He goes, yeah, man, uh, I was just wondering if you were doing consultations. I go, yeah. So we, we booked the time and everything. He goes, yes. Yeah. So, so what's the matter? He goes, um, he goes, uh, the, uh, the oh my wife smacked me in the face and I'm like this what I, I'm like this is this is not good. <laughs> she just said, For, hey, what, what do you think? I go that's not good. Why did your wife smack me in the face? And smack me in the face and she he's like well she um she something about she didn't clean something up and he took her phone and he said you know and then she took his phone and then threw it across the room. Mm. And then what? he, yeah, and then, and then somehow he got smacked in the face. And I'm like, uh, dog, this is my, I, you like, first of all, he only booked an hour with me, right? And I'm going, I, I can't. <laughs> this is a I lot to unpack. I can't, I can't fix your wife smacking you in the face today. Like, <laughs> this, 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 he, I, just, I he just wants you to tell her. Hey, don't smack him in the face anymore. Okay? <laughs> like, like you're you the know, police. We're on Skype. I'm like, ma'am, can you see me? Yeah, can you hear me? All right, don't smack your husband, please. Please don't smack your husband. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's it's crazy how this is this is really bringing everything to full stop uh, in a way that people are people are uh, really having to focus on their relationships and and things that are important to them. And well, yeah, you know, I mean, I I feel like you can't. There are a lot of people that uh, they kind of live that lie, you know, yeah, yeah. but they 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 spend they spread their time out enough that they can get away with it. 
Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, if I, I, I'll be this guy at work. I don't really like my work, but I'll be this guy at work. But it'll just be while I'm at work. It'll be fine. And I'll be this guy while I'm at home. And I yeah. don't really like when I'm at home. But I just, <laughs> it'll just be while I'm at we'll home. That'll be fine. And then yeah, on the yeah. weekends, I'll do this, and I'll see my <laughs> friends over here, and I'll yeah, figure yeah, something yeah. out. And, but what, yeah, when it all gets stripped away, and you're like, no, now you just have to be yourself and you just have to live in the life that you created right right if you haven't but, been paying attention to it if you haven't been watering that plant it's like yeah, yeah. oh my god this is what i've been doing it's it's yeah. it's sort of like when you get uh when you get guys that do uh Eng Eng you know they do, do movies and they do an english accent and then they fall out of the accent <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 Bitch, i hate you what <laughs> yeah. yeah they're realizing i married uh I married. I didn't marry Carrie Washington. I married that woman from Scandal, and Scandal's <laughs> over now. The series isn't on anymore. And I don't. Know. <laughs> yeah. Here's the thing, um, because because uh, Sam grew up on. I don't know if you. I don't know if you know that Harry, but Sam grew up on Black Phillip. The yeah. Original, like like. Well, I know Sam because we started out at the same time. We were both. We were uh, in the same intern class. The same yeah. intern class. Right, and right, so right. I remember that whole era of everything going on. And yes, yeah, any Sam was always there for any any outside project. Sam was there like, yeah, it's all the Saturday night shows. So that was yeah. like they would give the channel. I don't even know if they can do that anymore. But back then, I think yeah. it was just in its infancy. They're like, oh, we're not doing anything on the weekends. Let's just Let's throw just... the people we like on. And then Sam was always the guy who would volunteer to do that because he just wanted that experience. So yeah, it was yeah. all over the place. Yeah, whether it was Patrice or Dr. Steve. Yeah, that's or, how we were doing yeah. the Black Phillip thing. We were doing it on Saturday night at 12, like what was it, like 10, 12 o'clock at night we were yeah. doing it. And um, and I remember I remember Sam, like as Sam started getting traction because he really was working and his and his I, is the, the the woman that you married is that the same woman that you were with back then? Yeah, because because she was like, "What are you doing? Like, why are you? We're not getting paid. Like, what do you? Why do you keep doing this?" And he was like, "Look," and this this was and I don't know if Big Black Philip had anything, but you were like, "Look, this is what I'm doing." Yeah. Um, and if you don't want to do this, we could just not do this. Like that's right. I, I remember you having that conversation with your wife. Yeah. And she was like, oh, OK. Like, she kind of got it. Yeah. Uh -huh. like, you know, I mean, like the first literally when we first were dating and I had I was first of all, I'm me. You know what I mean? So it's not right. like a Brad Pitt. I'm me. Right? So, so, so right there, you're not offering the same package. And I was an intern. I heard Brad Pitt don't shower, though. So let's, I heard that through the grapevine. Allegedly. But guess, but guess what? Brad Pitt doesn't have to shower. Like, yeah. I have to shower. Brad Pitt doesn't. <laughs> Yeah, even that gets rough after a while. When you, <laughs> you know what I mean? When the when the glade, when when the shine starts wearing them, and she and this chick just looks at you, you fucking stink. You gotta yeah. have to take a shower, motherfucker. I I can't. My eyes are watering. Right, your balls smell. <laughs> They're beautiful balls, but they but stink. they smell. So, I wish like, I could I get a clip of Dante saying beautiful balls. <laughs> Play that over whenever he talks shit. You stopped so us. You enough. stopped the whole. You stopped the whole flow of the conversation for that. <laughs> Listen, go look for another background. All right. <laughs> you know, Andre, that, that I want was you so to bad. That was so bad. I want you to turn the computer around, let it face the wall for a couple minutes, <laughs> so we don't have to look at you. I know you full you. of shit, Harry. I saw your fat giggle. Uh uh. Don't take it back. You tuck me, big bitch. Don't I pull giggled, back because I, I take giggled that note. because mm -mm. you're a I fucking lunatic. You, I, I don't give a fuck why you laugh. It's mine. <laughs> Hey, stop talking to me like I owe you a pack of cigarettes. Enough. <laughs> go! <laughs> Andre, go find uh, another background. I want you to find Little Kim, original Little Kim. Not not the done not up Little Chinese Kim. Chinese lady. Uh, the Queen Bee, the original Queen, Queen Bee. Bee. <laughs> what were we just talking about? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Saturday nights and early oh, on. Saturday yeah. nights. Yeah, oh, so, so he had, Sam had that. We were talking about this stuff when Sam was, young. how old were you back then, Sam? I don't I know. I guess like 21, yeah. 22, something like that. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, yeah. And so like, you know, she'd go like, this is weird. This is not the experience that I'm used to with you going right. off on like every Saturday night just to kind of volunteer to do, but she she got it when I would like explain like look this is this is the world that I want to be in this is how these things for me this is how I think it has right. to happen right when we but when we first started hanging out we weren't even like dating dating yet but mm -hmm. we were we were hanging out right yeah and, but it was clear that this is what why we were doing what we were doing because I want right. to be with you 
and right. you know let's let's do this but right. nothing had really happened right so we were like hanging out like you know that, you, know, that, you, that, you that, hadn't you haven't put the thick in the warm yet not yet <laughs> the thick <in> the warm. <laughs> that's what i was gonna say actually no, no. <laughs> but you know that 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 like flirtatious platonic yeah, yeah. but not really platonic phase yeah. like that mental the kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah the courting phase yeah so like we've been doing it for i don't know it's probably been like a month and i was like driving around with her one day and i was like jess um you know i'm having a great time and she was like yeah me too this is so much fun this has been so fun i'm like yeah mm -hmm. and i'm like and you know like i was like and we can do this at whatever pace that you're comfortable i don't mind the pace that we've been going i don't mind going slow and she's like oh yeah me neither mm -hmm. i'm having a lot of fun blah 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 and i was like i was like the only thing just to always know though is that with the thing about a train is that a lot of times trains will stay in the station for a while but right. eventually they leave no train stays parked in the station eventually right, right. the train goes right so you know and she just looked at me. <laughs> she was like, she was like, what did you just say? I'm like, nothing. I said, I'm, all I'm saying is like, the, uh, there's a train in the station right now. It's gonna and have it's to great. Pull out. It's gonna eventually, have to pull out. eventually the train will leave the station. So that was your way of saying that this needs to move forward. It, right. Eventually it needs to move forward. Right. Like, don't like, like, don't think of this as one of these friend zones sort of. Yeah, yeah, we're permanently in this state of oh, okay. This yeah. is the way it's gonna be. It's right. one of those like we're cool. That but... was that was his more poetic way of saying, "Hey, I lay the pipe." Just so you <laughs> right. know, that's right. I'm here to lay pipe. I'm trying to. Let's just... I'm trying to put the thick in the warm. Yeah, let's just <laughs> be. <laughs> let's just be clear. Ipso facto, he threw a couple of words in there just to make it fancier. Yeah, there go. <laughs> train a nice analogy she saw she saw a bullet train and one of my favorite stories see i like sam's stories of the times that he's that he's had to show her like the the cold hard facts about what it like the examples of what it's going to be like the time i yeah. think your anniversary dinner got interrupted so you could go was that it so you could go to mick foley at caroline's or something there was something you put off um, or you had to go guest referee or something. I like it sounds look, I mean, I have to th like this is continuing now. We literally we scheduled the C section of our second child. Yeah. Because I had Andre, a rest now, Andre, now you see that's what interns do. They schedule stuff. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We we schedule we schedule the C section because I had a, a WWE gig on the saturday and we were like okay this is falling right in the middle of the due date right yeah. right you know we got it it got a little complicated uh, two years ago when we had our first kid like what do you what do you want to do here and i'm like well we should if we're probably going to have a c-section anyway we had a c-section the first time we're right. prob probably going to have a c-section again what if we do the c-section on thursday right I'm with you on Friday and then Saturday I can leave. Yeah. And she's like, what? You wanna you wanna schedule the C section? I'm like, yeah. And yeah. like we're sitting there in the, with the doctor. And I'm like, okay, we're gonna have to do this on the Thursday. And he's looking at me like you can't you can't just put off the work. And I'm like, no, doctor. Can no, you put I off can't. your work? Like, no, what, no. what do you care? Like, what are you getting involved? You, you just, you just, you better be here Thursday. Yeah, right. and he's so like, so that I can leave Friday. What's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm like, okay, I'm okay. So you're gonna give me shit because I'm trying to schedule a C-section around work because that means that you're yeah. going to have to come in and what, miss golf? Yeah. Like, well, no, he, was, gonna... he was upset because he had Billy Joel tickets or something else <laughs> yeah. where he was like, what kind of asshole is, does it, all these people do it on a Saturday? What kind yeah. Of... And yeah. Now, Sam, were you always like that even in your 20s or did the, did the whole, or did Patrice and all of his, the, all of what was going on, did that affect you as well or no? No, I mean, I was definitely, I was always, like that and the stuff that uh patrice would say would kind of uh resonate it, resonate yeah, yeah. and go like yes yes this is you know because patrice had a way of of putting these thoughts that you had into words that you were like yes that's yes that's what, yeah, I'm, that's saying. what I'm saying yeah, yeah that's what yeah. i've been saying I, I i've been saying the same thing and everybody's like no you haven't no, <laughs> that's why we listen to patrice you really haven't I'm like okay well it's been in my head i don't know how to say it like that but i was doing the train stuff and they're like yeah we're not listening yeah. to the train <laughs> <laughs> so the but, train well but the train, yeah. the train um, to be honest the train thing is pretty good it's pretty that good. is but patrice <laughs> but that's years said, of work yeah yeah patrice would have been like fuck the train thing just go 
is we fucking? <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, you condense it. <laughs> right. No, that's true. Word economy. Well, yeah. It's fun. No, because it, Patrice actually would do. He was very he was kind of long winded. He could be, like, but he, when it came to stuff letting letting a woman oh, yeah, know oh, something, yeah, it, it, it's like, are we are we fucking or are listen, we not fucking? Listen, if if he had to hit the fucking nuclear weapon button, yeah, he hit it, he hit it often, like banged it. Not even. I'm not saying he would do it because he lacked the ability. I mean, Patrice was an articulate guy, but yeah. when he wanted to be, he would cut right to the heart of the matter and punch that heart with a oh, fucking. Oh yeah, but then fist. and then when it, he would, it, it would filter in my head, and then I would usually go, "Well, what you're saying is you're right," like that, and he would go. He would do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. it's 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 it. Yeah, he was always Sam was always the dude. Like, and and it's interesting because I tell the guys this all that always. Rem I remember that. I mean, it's crazy that I even remember that. You know that that conversation that you have with her back then, and I remember yeah. that you had just were just hanging out with her, and uh, that was and in the studio, Dante. Like that was yeah, going like because oh. I didn't see Sam if we weren't in the studio. Right, right, right. But I mean, you that know, wasn't I, on air, and that was just off air stuff. You, uh, might no, talking, no, was, you might have been no, no. You might have been talking. You were probably, I mean, because I don't really remember. You were probably just talking to me about it, but on the air. Yeah, 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 yeah probably yeah, yeah, yeah. so. Yeah, because yeah. Sam would come in and he would Patrice would say, Sam, la 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 la. Yeah, and he yeah, would yeah. Just go run like, the board or yeah. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. what what was what was also interesting is just, and I used to say you can't you can't treat your your dream like it's a side bitch. Right. Like you, you can't treat it like you like you're following your dream and doing the things you want to do. You can't go uh, you, like you're sneaking around to do it. Like right. You, you, you have to go. This is what it is. I'm not I, I, because it, it almost feels like to a woman, it almost feels like you're cheating on her with your dream because you're not saying this is important. Right. And, but you also you have to. Right. You have to. That's right. That's that's right. You have to vocalize it. You have to act on it. And then there also have to be results, right? Yeah. Like it, you have to go like, look, I understand that this is a weird thing that I put this much energy into what I'm doing. Right. But here's why I'm doing it. Here's what's happened because I'm doing it. And this is 100 percent who I am. So I can't be fresh. Right. If this isn't what you want out of life, if that's this is fine. too much for you, that's, you know, I'm not you, you can't get mad at that either. Right. But you can't the same way you wouldn't want her to change you and change your habits and change right. what you do. Right. You can't sit there and try to bring her into your weird life. So the thing is, the mistake I think a lot of guys end up making is you don't lay those things and be consistent about it. And you don't right. lay down the reality of it. Like I know comics who comedians who'd be like, Oh, my girl's mad because I'm working. I'm going to order it be and they'll be like, you're going to hang out. And they'll be like, like I can't. Nah, 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 not I got to go home because and it's like I remember, I was, you know, I was talking about this uh, some time ago when uh, Chris, Chris DiStefano was going through his yeah. thing with, with, with Carly, 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 is it Carly? Carly anyway, Rio or whatever. Yeah. And, and uh, he was like, yeah, I got to I got to get home. And no, no, this was his the baby's mother. And he was like, you know, I gotta go home, and I go, and I, and I, I go to him, and I go, I'm curious, you girls a comic, right? And he goes, no, no, not at all. I go, oh, but she manages comics, and he goes, no, no, no. I go, so how could she possibly uh, determine the parameters of what you need to do to be successful if she doesn't do this? Hanging out is part of comedy. Being out at the cellar, being out wherever, hanging out at night with comics is part of the business. You know, right. it, there's a there's a a, a likability that you have to have. It's how you make con because people don't. You know, it's it's great when you're good, and not to, you know, not to say Sam's a great broadcaster, but if people don't like you, they're not it, they, they they don't fuck with you. Nobody right. and buys. Also, and and also, like you you have to be okay with saying, look, part of what I do is be around it. <laughs> like you, just yeah. like it, I'm not doing it, but I'm around it and. Mo a lot of it is, yeah, because that's part of the job and because yeah. I want, to, you know, you, people got to like you and you're yeah. going to meet people this way. But right. the other part of it is I want to feel like I'm doing it. And this yeah. is part of it. I want that energy. 
to be around me. It's not about even, just going on stage and going home. It's yeah, like, right. I want to be if a you, comedian. Even yeah. if you don't provide the justification for it, and you should, it, it's all right to do that, of course, and, and, and convert. I, I don't, but I don't even if you so. don't, even if I don't you don't, so because it doesn't he's, matter. I don't think you'd I listen, I, you, you, I think you want to be clear and communicate about what you need sure. and what you want. But you don't need a justification is the wrong word, because if she's if she's in college and she's studying to get her degree, she gets her syllabus and and her syllabus says you need to write this paper. You need to read this by this. But it's 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 laid out for her um, at no given time. Do you go? Yeah, I don't think you see this part right here. And you don't take her syllabus sure. and scratch off the parts that you don't it think <laughs> is it because you're not. It, it, it's I had a guy. I mean, Harry was with me. I had a guy. Uh, who came up to me? He was drunk. Remember the Australian guy, the boat, the guy who was a captain on the ship. Oh yeah, and uh, yeah, because they stand up New York. <laughs> they I, Andre guy. and Harry always love uh, that thing when somebody will confront me and about and he'd be like, hey, I might, you know, it was Australian. I might, uh, you know, you need to do, you need to, you, you know, what you should do with your act. And I go, you should shut the fuck up. That's what you should. <laughs> And then Harry goes, Harry does, Harry does the thing where he takes that hair, you see the hair, and he, push, he, he pushes it back. He's like, oh, here we go. And then I, I, I kind of look at Andre like, mm, this might go down. Yeah. <laughs> I remove my glasses. I put my watch in my pocket. I, everybody laces their sneakers up. And yeah, I go, I go, what do you do for a living? And the guy goes, oh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a captain on a, on a ship. I said, so can I just walk around, walk up on your ship and go, yeah, you know what you need to do? Uh, go that way. What, what do you mean? Go that way. You don't have no <laughs> longitude, no lat. No, you just. I feel. I got a gut feeling you should, or or a plumber. Hey, you know what you need to do with your act. What would make you? Act? You know what you need to do is go plumb. That's what you need to do, <laughs> plumber. Go and plumb some shit. And don't tell me what the. So it's like it's it's really ridiculous to think, of why. Why would you give a justification to somebody who doesn't have the ability to even understand? But that's my point. Is. Even if whether or not they get the, you know, you're doing that as a courtesy is really what it sure, is. Sure, sure. Because you like the person. You go, if I explain it to her, she'll understand. But even if she doesn't understand, then you just go, well, this is what it is. Yeah. And you yeah. take it or you leave it. And I think that that's like ultimately one of the great signs of is this going to work or is this not going to work if you mm -hmm. i think there's nothing wrong inherently with explaining what you're doing because it's not like you're it's not like it's a secret it's not like you're right. ashamed of it right right you're like this is what i'm doing but that's the and, point guys treat it like it's the side bitch and right. they treat it like it's a secret right yeah. no you have to be able to say unless you shouldn't be doing it the only reason right the only reason to not say what you're doing is because you really don't need to be doing it you shouldn't you know you shouldn't yeah. be doing it but if it's really something you should be doing and right. really like that, that you do, you go, this is what I'm doing and this is why I'm doing it. And mm -hmm. I mean, if the person that you're with still just won't get it, she's not the person. Exactly. She's that's not probably the not the person. for She does. She does you a favor. Um, yeah. The and I and I think you 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 explain, you know, that's a great way to explain it. But I think you explain it. So one of the things that you know we used to say or you know like we, we would talk because a lot of the principles that we were talking about then i think we were i always say this that we were angry like black mm -hmm. philip we were angry because we had recognized that there was this kind of disparity of a treatment and and men were supposed to do this and do it so you know that that happy life happy wife thing and 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 not and then we would say you know to put yourself put your happiness first because if you don't, she won't. And the interesting thing is, as a man, like, you, you know, you're talking about having a family and you're accountable. Now, she never told you you were accountable. The minute you had your kids, you knew that you were accountable, that these, these as a man, you understand that this is your responsibility. And I'm not saying that there's not men who don't take that responsibility. Um, but no, I don't think a man doesn't take the will more likely not take the responsibility because they don't have the res, the resources to fulfill that response like every guy wants to be able to say yo yeah i, I bought my girl a benz it's, it's nothing you know what i mean like you like to you want a ball but but the responsibility like what kind of man are you if your children are not happy if your 
wife is not happy, if your home, if you don't have a good roof over and the food is not in the fridge and your son don't have fives, like, what, 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 <laughs> right. what, who what are kind you? What pussy are you in that case? Yeah. You're yeah. a loser. You know, <laughs> your if son you doesn't have fives. If your son, you can't get your son fives, it's over. You ain't shit. Right. Yeah. No, that's true. Yeah. I mean, I mean, like earlier in our relationship, like right around when we got married, you know, we would have conversations about having kids. And like, I was like, yeah, I, I want to have kids at some point. But I was like, look, you know, let's wait at least a couple of years right now because I know me. And right now, I don't feel like I should be a person's dad where I'm at. I know I'm right. still confident in what I'm doing and where I'm going. Right. But at the moment, like, I if if I told a kid, this is what my dad does, you know what I mean? Like, I couldn't right. justify it. So let right. me let me get a little bit more secure with who I am and what, what I'm was doing. the what was the difference? And I'm, I'm curious, what was the difference in that you think that you would accomplish in that three years that you hadn't have had at that set, at that point? I think that uh, a lot of my goals st were still goals, like a lot just, of my goals just were out of reach. Yeah. And it was still like uh it was still that thing. Well, I'm yeah, I'm doing this because as opposed to I'm doing this like I, I didn't want to have kids when in my head I was still doing this because that as right, opposed right, right. to I'm right. doing this because this is what I do. Right. right, right. Um, I feel you. Yeah. Yeah. I just thought that that was a big like, you know, just to feel right with what you're doing. His kids will see through that. Like if yeah, you have that sure. insecurity, I didn't want to have any insecurity right that a kid would see through because what before they even know what insecurity is they, they know what it know, is yeah there's something yeah. off what, yeah. what yeah. were you yeah. most insecure about at the time do you think um i think it was when i was still trying to figure out uh being on the air full time as as my you know primary source of income when it was mm. like and when it, i think that was still during the period where i was hosting shows but also producing for O and A and like going like, okay, how do I make this transition? How do I go from, from seven jobs to right. <laughs> right. <laughs> which Wait, is I everything have, about yeah. comedy and broadcasting? How can yeah. I turn these seven jobs that that almost in, in the pay one something? big one? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to have like three good jobs yeah. instead of nine <laughs> shitty jobs. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and once I get those three good jobs. Yeah. then we'll be good and i could see like okay this is working like the process is working like i've always it's a long process it's a slow process i mean harry we yeah you know, there was what 15 or more years oh ago it's yeah. it crazy yeah. but but like you get there and i'm like okay the process is working but I, we're just not at the step yet mm -hmm. where it's time to bring that in that we'll get there yeah and we got there yeah but we just weren't there at that time. Now, you know what's I that's something that this principle that I talk about all the time is like, you know, like guys will have these 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 levels that they think they should be at and they um um they'll they'll so they they need those things. But they don't really need those things. The fact that what what makes you need it is the fact that you think you need it. Does that make sense? It makes yeah, it makes a hundred percent sense. Yeah, because I can look back now mm -hmm. and go, I was I fine. Got, yeah, I was yeah. fine. Right, like there right. was nothing, and I could look at myself today and go, I could have like those. There's no, I could have. The only reason I have less insecurities today is because I look back and go, I didn't need to have them back then. Like right. I could, because those same insecurities would just follow me here. Because yeah. it's not like I'm sitting here going like, all right. I have accomplished everything I've ever wanted to. Like, of course not. And anytime right. you level up, like there's still, all you're looking at is the levels above your head. Like, right, you're not looking at the ones that you pass. And, and, and what's, right. what's interesting too is that you, you, you have this preconceived idea of what the pinnacle of, yeah, yeah, yeah. of that's a success and until you re read that. And so, and, and, and I've said this, I've said this several times to guys who, who are insecure like that, you, like there's a woman you're you're trying to date a woman who or a man or a woman trying to date you're, you're you're dating somebody with this preconceived notions that you're not good enough so yeah. like i say if a guy's five four and he's telling everybody he's five 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 six it's because he doesn't think that five four is good enough yeah so i saw a guy a 90 day fiance that was 
lying about being 5'2". He's, yeah. <laughs> he's 4'11", <laughs> and he had to lie. When you're lying about being 5'2", it's like, bro, don't even bother. I did this thing. I did an interview with uh, with the bagel boss, dude. Right, right. And, and it's like, it, it's, but the, the thing is, it no, who, look, I'm not going to say that there are not shallow people that will say, oh, okay, this guy's 4'11". I won't date him. Sure. But Nobody dates somebody simply because they have a six pack, you know, mm -hmm. and, and, and nobody dates some nobody dates. There's a there's a, you know, height, weight, uh, attractiveness, um, you know, intellect. Shout out to Andre again. The lack mm -hmm. of those things are all variables, but they're all then it's not that those variables are not important. It's just not there. They're not the only thing that is. There's no single thing that right. makes you the the option, the best option. No one thing. So it's it's usually, you know, you can have a guy who has the six pack with the cum gutters. Right. And <laughs> I, I, I counsel this girl who had the all right, Dre. All right. Fuck <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the, the, she, you know, she had this, she, she had this dude and the dude was, you know, like a model and this, and you know, a six pack and you know, 12, 11% body fat. But he, he was like, yo, I didn't know that pickles were cucumbers. And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, and don't get me wrong. She, That's she a fucking, valid question. No, it's not. 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 Cucumber is a pickle with Shut a gun. It had like something. <laughs> something went. Andre, so your feelings like, hey, something went down. Something <laughs> happened to this something cucumber. Something happened funny. to yeah. that cucumber that yeah, turned it into a pickle. <laughs> and then your mind gets blown when you find out it was pickled. Yeah. You're like, what? <laughs> what? Like, never you know what it was? <laughs> it was that pickle bitch he was fucking with. Changed him. <laughs> he he didn't pickled. accept him for what he was and just changed him. Changed right? Him. And then the next thing you know, what? He moved he, on to another cucumber and pickled that nigga too. We, listen, <laughs> it's a great principle. I used to say this a lot. I don't say it. A woman falls in love with you for everything that you are. She spends the rest of the relationship trying to change you into everything that you're not. And if she succeeds, she dumps you for a guy who is what you were in the first place. See? Yeah. Pickles, nigga. That's, that is not how Patrice would have handled it, Andre. I feel like you completely missed the message. <laughs> Something went down. Yeah. You're like a, you're like a you're like a, a private eye. You're like, man, these cucumbers look different. They yeah. look different. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, man, thank you so much for calling in, bro. I appreciate you so much, dog. Yeah, um, thanks for having me. I hoping I'm hoping that uh, you know, I don't know. What do you let me ask you this? What do you think this is gonna look like? when it mm. goes because i don't think it's ever going to go back to normal Shit. you know i mean i think long term stuff will not be as different you know i think it'll be back to normal in the sense that like we all still travel after 9 11 right. but the airport looks a lot different yeah you know yeah. what i mean like i think uh i don't think masks will ever fully go away i don't know if the gloves will ever fully go away like i think people would just be a little bit more conscious of that i mm -hmm. think for the like six months It'll be like, remember after 9-11, everybody had yeah, American yeah. flags in their cars? Yeah, yeah. Like, I think everybody will remember. And then black people, black people, people did it for like four out. months, four and a half. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And then it's like, okay, we did it. We wore the gloves. We're fine. You know. Well, but you know, it, the thing is that I think it's a different, it's a different world in terms of, you know, I mean, look, we, the Spanish flu killed tens of thousands of people. Mm -hmm. And we got back, to, but I don't think we are. I think we're smarter now. And so I think we're certain things are not going to go back. Like, I don't think it's going to because it's always going to, you know, this like dumbass Kellyanne Conway. She was like, she says, <laughs> she goes, she goes, it's Corona. She goes, it's COVID-19. No, bitch, there wasn't. There weren't, there, weren't 18 18 other, other <laughs> there weren't 18 other COVIDs. You dumb it wasn't 18 it was, other COVIDs. It was 2019, stupid. <laughs> so, and, then, and she and, tried to drop the mic, too, after that. Like, it's, yeah. it's COVID-19. Bong. Like, Bong. It's, it's the year, you moron. 
But um, I, I, I often look at, even with, with stand-up comedy, it's such an interesting, like there's so many people who were here, me and Harry was talking about this, and, and, and let me just say, Sam has been around stand-up comics and stand-up comedy for so, you know, from the inception, it was part of broadcasting almost to, to an extent, and, and your kind of growth. Um, but there's a lot of dudes that just couldn't deal with it and ship the fuck out. Mm -hmm. They're gone. Mm -hmm. You know, and I everybody... think that'll happen. That'll happen again. That I yeah. mean, that'll happen with this. I mean, enough enough comics that aren't working for like two, three months, whatever yeah. it ends up being. I think you'll see a wave of people that just don't get back on stage. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. they didn't really, didn't really, didn't really it want it from the their, beginning. Yeah, right. It wasn't their dream and stuff like that. And yeah. and uh, and it's just it's great because I always, I always, it's always good to see Sam because um Sam wanted to do this. I met Sam when he was in his 20s, and Sam just grind. And I always said that to you, Sam. Even when you got your own, the first show that you got, I was like, man, it just feels so good to see you kind of, you know, set the destination and then work for that just every day grind and not let anything defer you from, from what the destination was and, and how it you know how it all turned out, man. So I I, I appreciate you, bro, man. Love well, you. I appreciate death. that a lot, man. I and really appreciate it, it. It's 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 so dope, man. Give it up for Sam. Yo, thank you, man. Sam, yo. Thank you, thank you so much for coming, man. I, I thank you, know, you. When we figure this out, I want to come back on, uh, you know, on 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 serious when I can, and you know, chop it up again after this is all over with. Um, I'm gonna. Uh, I'd like you to send me pictures of the babies because I'm sure gonna send you mine for sure. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> um, anything you want to plug? Anything that you want to plug? Or uh, you can hit up all my stuff. YouTube uh, channel is not Sam. You can go to notsam.com for everything. If you're a wrestling fan, not Sam Wrestling Podcast comes out every Monday. Um, and yeah, that's it, man. What? Real quick, one thing I did want to ask you: What do you think about this whole thing where they're doing the the the, the wrestling shows without audiences? Like the energy is so different, right? It's really different and it's 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 I mean it's tough. It's really really tough, but man, I love I love that Vince McMahon and Dana White and guys like that are trying to stay in business. Anybody that's trying to stay in business, mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah. I love it. And that's why I mean that's what I try to like look. When I'm watching it, I'm like this does not take the place. Yeah. of wrestling in an arena with yeah. an audience, but like that's also not an option. It's not like they were sitting there yeah. going you know what I'd really like to do? Yeah. I'd, I'd, like to, yep. I'd like to, you know, do, forego all of the money and energy of people being here. And let's just do it in our building. Well, I'll tell you yeah. what a real cool thing is. Uh, and this is just a life lesson in general. They took the opportunity that there is no audience and you can't spoil stuff. And they're trying to do some unique stuff where they're shooting a lot of stuff in the field, matches that are, they're finding mm. reasons to have matches that are not just the in the street. ring. And oh, wow. even the wow. money in the bank, I think they're going to, they're yeah, going to fight in the off in, the, so, the, in so, the actual WWE building. So the WWE has a building in Stanford, Connecticut, and it's got their logo on it and everything. Yeah. So they just announced because at WrestleMania, a couple of the matches, they actually shot cinematically. Like they look like short films because, uh -huh. because they can. And right, Harry's right. right. They're taking this negative and going like, well, what positive could come out of it? Yeah. Well, what if we present it in a whole new way? And right. so they're doing this ladder match. And instead of just hanging a briefcase above the ring, they're going to hang the briefcase above their skyscraper, above their building. It's like oh, a four-story wow. building. It's not so, a skyscraper. but wow. So you have to start at the bottom, like that in movie The Raid, in the lobby. <laughs> fight your have, way up. And you have to yeah, fight like all game, the way it's up. It's like Game of Death. That's fucking yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. And then there's a ring that's on the roof of the building. <laughs> and then once you get up to the roof of the building, then you can climb up and get – the briefcase off the roof, but there's like eight guys. Yeah. So you have to fight with throughout the entire That's building. It's amazing. Game. So just, they took that sort of like negative that, all right, we can't do the shows like regular, but instead of just not doing it, okay, what can I do? What can yes. I do that I couldn't do before? It's good and that there's amazing. some rest some restrictions because you know Mick Foley would do an elbow drop <laughs> yeah. off the fourth floor off the building. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sam, thank you so much, man. I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you so much. Thank um, you, man. Uh, Dre, go ahead, kick your shit. What are you? I'm Andre B. Thompson on all the stuff. That's it. Hit me up. It's apocalypse happening. All right, could you just move <laughs> over so we can see little Kim's crotch, please? Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, there Harry. you go. Uh, <laughs> you can follow all my stuff at Harry Turjanian, uh, also at Capital Wrestling. 
uh, for our company. We're still putting out some new episodes for the time being, uh, which is awesome. And then also follow our YouTube channel, The Real uh, Man School 202, the YouTube channel. Subscribe. We want to get some more subscribers. We're uploading uh, new videos of the show and classic videos. And then we're going to do some uh, original YouTube only content soon. So yeah. it's a good okay. time to subscribe. Hey, Sam, have you seen uh, Harry and as the heel yet uh, doing his thing with Capital I, yet? Yeah, I've seen Capital Wrestling. I've seen Harry, Zach yeah. Amico, yeah. Our, yeah. one of our other old interns, uh, uh, Matty Ryan, yeah, who's yeah. there is one of the big guys there. I, I love it. I like here's what I like. Anytime people start uh, an indie promotion and they actually have a vision not just for a match, but for like the yeah, whole yeah. company. Yeah. And I, that's why I like capital wrestling. Cause it feels like there's a vision for the company. There's an aesthetic for it. There's a, there's, it's a, it has a reason for being like, it feel like they're there. It's doing something that wasn't being done before and nobody else is doing. So it's like, yeah. okay, I can, I yeah, can get into this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I like and it. It's great. I, Harry's really, he makes a great heel. I, I really, I kind of hated him a little bit when I watched him. <laughs> I was, I hated him a little At bit. Skank fest. I mean, upset. I don't, I don't I don't really like him that much. Yeah, anyway, was that but... you who threw a cup of piss at me? I knew it was, <laughs> I knew I recognized that piss. <laughs> um everything with me, you can check me out. Uh Instagram, uh the, the Dante Nero. What is this, my the Dante Nero? The Dante Take Nero. Your time, brother. Yeah. Yeah, Don, the Dante Nero. Also, the one-on-one -on -one consultation. If you, if you, if your man's driving you crazy, your lady's charging you crazy, and you realize that you've been settling, call me up. We'll sort it out. Just go to DanteNero.com, click on consult, and you can book time with me. If your son's in the basement wearing a do rag and you don't know what to do about it anymore, whatever. Call how, do they, how do they reach you, Dante? DanteNero.com, click on consult. Uh, GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted. Yo, I love y'all. Thank you, man. Listen, tell a friend, tell a friend. We appreciate you. <laughs>